Ripple charged by US watchdog for selling unlicensed security XRP. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocker from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video guys, I'll be looking at that charge, what SEC is charging Ripple with. I'll be sharing with you my thoughts on it. And more importantly guys, I'll share with you what it means for XRP and not just for XRP, for the whole cryptocurrency market. This is some massive news. Whether you're invested in XRP, whether you like it or not, this is something that is big for everyone that's involved in cryptocurrency. I know I get called out for being an XRP hater. You know, people say I don't like XRP. I'm ne I've never said that, guys. I don't want XRP or Ripple to go through this. If you're invested in cryptocurrency or interested in blockchain, you want everything to succeed. I'm not the biggest fan, and I recommend you watch my previous video. I actually bought XRP above 30 cents. I'm more of a trader. I shared exactly my trades with you. Watch the previous video, so don't say this is an after the fact. I was getting a lot of hate for saying that I'm I've got stopped out on XRP. I bought it above there. I sold half there, sold half at 70, and I got stopped out here. I was getting a lot of hate. I'll be sharing with you exactly what I'm doing next. If you own XRP, I'll be sharing with you how I'm looking to trade it, what my thoughts are on it, how we've been trading in the educational group. So I'll share with you my thoughts more on the price. I'll explain to you my uh, thoughts on the news. Again, I'm not an expert on securities law. I'm not an expert on the Howey test, uh, whether if, which which defines whether something is classed as a securities or not. I know Bitcoin is not. I can confidently say that. I believe Ethereum is not as well. I'll be sharing with you my thoughts on it. And I'll be sharing with you my thoughts on how it can affect the cryptocurrency market in general. So without further ado, let's get into the video, guys. So cryptocurrency firm Ripple charged by US watchdog. And this has been covered by BBC. This shows that how big how big uh, this news is if it's been covered by news outlets like bbc financial times it's, it's been uh, covered by most crypto uh, most normal news uh, outlets as well so you can see sec sec asserted that ripple xrp token is a tradable asset known as security uh, brad garlinghouse and ripple is saying that it is not a security and it's currency but if you see uh, in my opinion again i'm not an expert on it but this is what uh, the sec are saying whether it happens or not what if you want to look at it from a positive point of view again i don't want to hate on the xrp investors or xrp army because everyone is doing that on youtube and then i i get told to be an xrp hater i'm not an xrp hater guys all i'm saying is this clarity would be good for cryptocurrency in general it, it could be bad for xrp if it classed as security there could be some repercussions i'll be talking about that what can happen if xrp is classed as a security but this clarity would be good if if it clarifies that it is not it could be good Good. if it does it, at least cryptocurrency can move forward from it whether uh, whether it's at xrp's expense or not and you should never get married to a trade whether you invest in something please have a strategy you know you know you can check out our group if you're interested or you know read books on it learn how to invest learn risk management the first thing i teach is you know how to trade risk management and psychology please don't get married to a trade and you know the xrp people that get too defensive please don't be defensive on it anything can go to zero bitcoin can go to zero you know oil went to zero so make sure uh, you don't get attached and always have risk management in place so I'll, I'll touch exactly on how how we are trading in the group uh, and uh, where to have stop losses in place but you know make sure that you you have a strategy so uh, in in 2018 the u.s commodity futures trading commission said both could be traded as commodities like currencies oil and cotton so bitcoin and ether has been ruled out uh uh, that they are they are not securities and can be traded as commodities like currencies they didn't clarify that on 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 xrp and i made videos on it that this was a massive news and that video didn't get views Th those important videos don't get views i think i made a video if you search xrp securities uh, it's about a 20 minute long video it only got 200 to 300 views again this is probably the most important video this has only got 600 views so you know so watch these videos they really help you so let's carry on looking at this and i'll touch i'll read a bit on this as well i highly recommend you read this whole uh, this whole article uh, one thing that uh, it touches on is uh, ripple actually uh, being used by banks so uh, ripple the proof of concepts of ripple lots of banks uh, especially santander was really involved in it they wanted to use it but unlike his competitors it didn't really go anywhere so they were trying to use it but you know n not many people actually got you know used it they tried it they said they were partners 
partner it they'll try it uh, but it didn't really go anywhere that's one thing so uh, I want to say you know in banks undertook proof of concepts uh, but Ripple could have paid paid as well Ripple could have paid companies to try it which is probably a bit sneaky and it sh it's not something that you'd like but although lots of banks look to have tried it it didn't really go anywhere uh, this is the suit again it's allegedly the distribution of billions of xrp in exchanges for non-cash considerations and xrp sales used to finance the company's business and uh, this is why they're challenging it ripple labs have always tried to get away from that you know they're trying to say xrp is on its own we are different but you, you can't you know, ripple is definitely involved in xrp a lot more than they like to say and in 2016, it was clear that the organization was trying to reduce its dependence on XRP. Uh, but if you look at, uh, look a lot deeper into it, banks don't have to use XRP. And to date, they haven't. You know, Ripple PR summed up for us after a meeting with Larson. So you know, like I said, lots of people were looking into it. They wanted to try something out new, but they weren't. Uh, they weren't really uh, able to take it further. And you know drive adoption and usability at the end of the day that's what we want to see you know bitcoin has a narrative ethereum has a narrative with xrp this this is definitely not very good news and you can see by the price where the way people are dumping i'll share with you my price target and you know, there's potentially a trade available if you guys have watched my previous videos i'll touch on that when i come to the end of it end of the video but the implications for crypto this is quite big for cryptocurrency that's why i hate when people when i'm seeing people on youtube twitter facebook reddit hating on the xrp army guys we need we need to support xrp we need to support blockchain and cryptocurrency because it can have implications on the whole cryptocurrency market and the other cryptocurrencies i really don't think ethereum will fall into that i've read a, a piece on bbc news where it touched on you know bitcoin and ethereum have been classed as not securities but eos is another one that could have similar uh, issues and there's other pre-sold uh, to public could have other issues with sec so this is the really really huge news and i'm definitely going to be reading a lot more uh, about this uh, an sec victory and ripple case would render xrp untradeable so a lot of experts you know smarter people than me in blockchain and cryptography are saying that uh, that XRP, if it is classed as security, uh, it would be difficult to trade. And the reason is, a lot of people would be looking to uh, delist XRP. I think Bexy and a couple of smaller exchanges have already said they're gonna uh, delist it, and there could be other. Um, you know, you know who's at risk if XRP is considered security. Every exchange that lists XRP, so lots of exchanges might be uh, looking to delist it. And if XRP is not listed on exchanges, the price people are going to dump it. They're going to think, how, what value does my does my token have? So those are my thoughts on the news. Um, again, I'm not saying I hate XRP, sell XRP. I'm just sharing with you my thoughts. I'm not holding any XRP. So I post, you know, as soon as the news came out, I try to keep people. I'm not. I don't promise you're going to be a millionaire i try to keep people on the right side of the market i'll share with you one trade we're taking in a zilliqa and a theta i'll make this is near the christmas time i'm going to have a couple of days off if you do join the group i'll be back again boxing day and after but two trades we're taking zilliqa and theta have been amazing hopefully you guys have enjoyed i want to end the last video i make before christmas but a good one so i'll try to make another video before the end but yeah snx is one trade that we're trading and it's hit target and i posted uh, when it broke out but you know this is the news that came out people were asking me what i was doing and i said you know i'm not holding any uh, i'll just look to trade it and 30 cent was a key level uh, that i was looking at and you know if people you know go watch the previous video i'm not saying that oh I, I sold it here and it's all in the previous videos if you go watch this video so what now for xrp for price so when it broke below 50 cent regardless of the news i got stopped out and i wasn't interested in it it pumped quite a bit it pumped about um it pumped about 12 15 percent from where i sold and everyone was saying you don't know what you're doing you're risk you can't trade xrp is going to go to a dollar but this news has definitely dropped the price but when it dropped below 50 cent i knew it was weak anyway so if you're in a, from a trading point of view it was a short with this news it's literally just really hammered xrp now it's that support uh, my plan if you go watch my previous videos was to rebuy xrp at this 30 cent level near the weekly moving average but because of this news i've not really bought it um i don't know if you have uh, if you still believe in xrp you believe they're gonna win this you know something that i don't comment below and let me know i'm happy to look into it i know christmas time is happy time to be with your family maybe after christmas i'll do a lot more research on xrp and securities 
but if it holds this level if it gives me a setup take a trade with a stop loss below and another point i made which is again goes into risk management is please if you're looking to buy you know 10,000 worth of xrp buy a bit less buy eight uh, you know buy 2,000 xrp don't buy too much buy 1,000 buy 2,000 don't go all in when you know there's lots of bad news around so uh, that is my trade strategy that i shared this morning buy a little bit it was at this green zone it's bounced a bit so you probably up slightly from uh, the the trade zone that i shared but again it's not a trade i'm looking to take but if it consolidates gives invest and shoulders have a stop loss below 26 and try to trade it from a short time frame but you know is it's going to be the bottom i'm not looking at it i want some sec clarity before i jump in anywhere and i'm more of a trader as you guys know i, uh, I didn't trade xrp for ages above 30 cent was the best trade this would have been one of an amazing trade for me uh this pump you know i sold at 50 cent as planned i sold even before that and 50 cent and 70 cent are sold it live on youtube so anyways thank you very much for watching this video sorry to hear that for all our xrp fans please make sure you risk manage don't think don't do anything stupid uh, and watch this you know i've shared with you how exactly what i'm going to do where to put my stocks how i'm going to look to trade it and you know if, if it trend changes we get some sec clarity we can look to trade it anyways thank you very much i uh, hope you enjoyed this video comment below your thoughts on xrp what do you think do you think it's a security do you think it's going to dump to zero or, or wherever you know like i said if it's untradeable it will drop to below 10 cent i don't know how low it can go i'll have to make a video how low xrp can go but comment below your thoughts you know no hate let's just have a thought you know have a frank conversation logical conversation on what's going to happen with our cryptocurrency i'm heavily invested in bitcoin if it goes down it will affect me as well but you know let's have a discussion uh, comment below your thoughts on price prediction this sec lawsuit and let's have a discussion so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel have a great christmas and new year don't let this affect your christmas and new year uh, i'm almost close to 15k i'd love it if you can smash that like button it doesn't cost you anything if you are interested in taking your training to the next level i'll leave the links below for you to check out before the new year there's a special offer you can check us out you get the full course as well so uh, check it out if you're interested anyway thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with the, uh, another great video thank you very much